So if you're using Kubernetes, and specifically kubectl commands to navigate your Kubernetes resources, and chances are high that you are since you clicked on this video, right? Um, it might look something like that. You're using kubectl commands to navigate your resources, create new resources, destroy resources, maybe even debug resources. And that could be quite suboptimal, especially if you're just starting to use Kubernetes and kubectl. And you might not know all of the resources that are available. You might be creating some resources that you don't know of and so on. So I want to introduce you to canines. Yeah. <laughs> and canines is a terminal-based UI that allows you to easily navigate your Kubernetes resources within your Kubernetes cluster. Yay! <laughs> so instead of using a, a web-based UI, it allows you to have to display the resources of your Kubernetes cluster in a visually pleasing manner. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I've made it to my personal mission to document everything that I learned related to uh, DevOps, specifically Kubernetes, within this 100 days of Kubernetes challenge, where I aim to learn something new every day across 100 days. So this is day 12. Let's go. Okay, so for those of you who have already watched some of my videos, maybe in the past, know that I keep this public Notion page with all of my notes that lead to this kind of video. So this video is basically a product of my notes in some way and what I've been playing around with. Uh, most of the stuff I'm just playing around with, right? Um, so as you can see here is again an overview of what is K9S actually. And then here you have the different installation options. Since I know some of you use macOS, some of you <laughs> use Windows, some of you use, I don't know what, you can also install from source via Docker image or whatever you prefer. Um, I have it running on my Ubuntu. And here I've listed some of the features that I thought were interesting. I've started to expose some of them, but definitely not all. So this is not a full tutorial, but just a, hey, look at this kind of style video, right? Um, so let's take a look at how you can interact with uh, K9S. Here are some of the commands that you could be using just to get you started, maybe. Um, this one specifically is really cool, so let's take a look at that as well. So I'm here in my terminal. I have it installed. Let's so I just look for K9S and it should get it up and running. And now it's way too big. Ooh. Okay, so I have it up and running. Here I'm in the, my default namespace for my pods. Um, it's like basically if you say kubectl get pods, it will list all of the pods in your default namespace. Now, what I can do, what is pretty cool, I can select this application and hit enter and I see what is the container that's running within this pod, right? And it's based on this image from my Docker Hub and with the tag and everything, right? The state of it and so on which is pretty cool. So I can hit escape and I'm back with my uh, pods in the default namespace. I can also go ahead and say with colon, you enter this space, right? Um, so colon and then I say pods, but this time I want to filter for namespace. Um, I don't know, do I have, maybe let's look at the namespaces, spaces. Okay, so I have my ingress namespace, I have ingress nginx, I have um, <laughs> default namespace, and let's take a look at what's inside ingress. Inside ingress, I have this nginx microkit ingress controller running. As you can see, it's up and running. Awesome, it works. So that's pretty cool. Um, now I can go back for x-rays services. Here we go. Okay, that's where I wanted to be. So as you can see, there's some playing around. Um, so I have here different, let's enter this one. I have here my service default, which is named Kubernetes. Nice, let's go back. And then I have, what else do I have? I have here within that, as you can see, I have, I think this is a pod, yeah. So um, I can view basically everything that's within here within this nice list. Then I have here my service React application. I can in, go in there as well. And I see the specific service in that case. Or I can go into the pod. I can, um, well, look at what else is in there in this case. <laughs> here is my Docker image. And it basically shows me really nicely an overview of what is in that cluster, right? Really nice. Anyway, as you can see, it takes some time to get used to. So let's go back to parts and then default, since that seems to 
Oh. Pods default. And then, well, let's just look for all. Okay, that that works. Um, we can also look for with questioner. Just type questioner. You will see all of the commands that you right now have. As you can see, I have like some shortcuts of like one, two, three. And all of those are shortcuts versus um, the ones where I type uh, to get the pods. It's, it uses a colon and then the resource name. However, those these are like shortcuts that I could be using directly. Um, let's take another look at all of the features that K9S has. So over here, we have x-rays, which we just highlighted. So these are basically key bindings. And then you can use a shell as well. Come on. There are different things that you can do, and it probably will take me some more time to explore it. You can also use plugins and benchmark your application, which I'm really interested in. So I might do like a more comprehensive tutorial about K9S if you're interested, like just hit like, and I will do a comprehensive tutorial on how you can get started with K9S. Overall, it's really just play around with it, get used to it, and then it should be working. So, and exit just with, you type colon and then Q and it will quit. If you don't want to, um, Control C, that works. This is it. If you made it this far, you must be serious about learning Kubernetes and exploring Kubernetes related resources and tools. If you are, you might want to join our DevOps learning group, where we just basically share a bunch of free online learning resources with community members, uh, which is pretty cool. How you can join, just message me on Twitter and I can add you to the group. I hope this was useful and I hope to see you next time. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.